All right, guys, we are in the final part, and I hope that you're excited as much as I am because in this part we are going to create the login page and also the dashboard where customers will be able to access the things that they purchased. So let's do it. So before we actually start writing any code, let's quickly explain the basics that you need to understand for this tutorial. So in this video, we are going to create one simple login page. So let's say this is our login page, some logo, email, password and the login button. Now if everything is correct on this page, once we verify all the details, we will redirect person to the dashboard. Now here is the most important thing that we are going to do. And basically here from the left side we are going to have some menu like this and then here we are going to have some content so now what is important to understand is that we are going to actually create it so that for example if someone is purchased the product number one we are going for example to give him an access to this part here and then if someone is purchased the product too, we are going to give him an access to all of them. Okay. And then of course, if someone is purchased the product three, he is going to get an access to entire content inside this dashboard. So let's write the code. So the first thing that we are going to do is to actually go and fix small things that we should do the last time. And basically the first one is that here, once someone purchase, we are actually always just creating a new account and we are not checking if the person is already in the database or not. So here it will be very smart if first, let's say I will go here and say that we need to check first if this person does exist in the database or not. So I will say if like connection query and I will say select ID from users where email equal email, something very simple like that. And then we can say if SQL number of rows bigger than zero, that means that the person exists, else we need to create an account for that person okay and here I will just say that if that person exists we should now go and change his plan of course here we should go and maybe do some checking if he purchased the lower plan or not but in most cases someone will just upgrade so if you want to do additional checking you can do that too here so here I will just say connection query and I will say update users set plan equal product ID where email equal email and then for an email we will set that password is equal your old password which means that we are not going to create the person password okay and that's it now also here for the link for the login page we didn't put any so I will just go and grab this one okay I will put it here and then I will just add login.php and then we are going to also use the same link on the thank you page which is here Okay, cool. Now let's create the login page. So I'll go new PHP file and then let's say login. And here I will again create small HTML document. Let's say here login page. We just zoom in. Okay, hopefully you can see now. And I will grab the bootstrap. Okay. And then here we will say 
we will have one container, one row, and one, let's say, column MD6, and then I want to have an offset of three, which means that we are going to put everything in the center column. And for those of you that probably do not understand those stuff, there is an amazing course that I have created, so make sure that you check that one. Okay, and then here, let's say I will include my logo.png. I will maybe make two breaks and then include some inputs. So let's say this one will be like email. And then this one will be password. Then for this one, I will set password. Okay, and then we can have here one button. TN primary. Okay, and that's it. And now what we can do is to actually use jQuery or Ajax here. But for this, just to make it simple, I will just use the normal HTML form. Okay. Like this. So this will be our submit. And that's it. So let's see what we have so far. Okay. So I will open login.php. And now what we can do is to make everything to the center. So let's say justify content to the center. No, not here, but here. And here we can say align center. Okay, let's see now, looks better. And then maybe let's add some breaks and here we will say log in so yeah it looks pretty good so this will be our email and then this will be our password that's it and then here at the top of course, for some of you that are looking to create more advanced login form, I would say just go and check my YouTube channel. There is so many different tutorials on how to create different type of the login form. Okay, that's it. And then I will just grab from here this line. Cool. And then I will say email equal connection. Okay. So here we are obviously creating very simple form. Login form. Okay. And then here let's just check do we have someone in the database with this email at first so i will say select let's say id and email from users where email equal email and i will say here if square number of rows bigger than zero now that means that the person with this account, with this email exists in the database, but we are not sure about his password. So we, we need to also check his password. So I will say here, data equal uh, SQL fetch associative array. And then we will verify the password. So I will say if password verify, and then we will use password and the hash, which is data password that's what's stored in the database. Then 
in that case it means that everything is correct and we are able to log in the person otherwise we will just display some error message so let's say by default we will just say that message or maybe we can just say here no better let's say message please check your login details okay so what we can do is to put else here and say that the password is not correct and else here say that the account is not found but usually you don't want to do that in terms of the security and you don't want to give two more information so that for that reason i will just say here please check your login details and that's it and otherwise we are going just to log in this person so maybe we can grab or also the plan from the database and we are going to store everything inside the session so maybe i can say here session start okay and then here i will say that no session plan is equal data plan so that we know what we are going to allow him inside the dashboard then we can also store if we need later user id okay so i will say data id and then maybe let's say something very simple i usually use something a lot more advanced here but just here let's say log it in equal one whatever and then we are going just to redirect this person to our dashboard.php file which we don't have at the moment okay and then here we are going just to display this message below this form okay so i will say here echo message we can put two breaks here maybe we can also say here like span just to make it a little bit nicer but it's not necessarily okay so let's let's try now this i will hit reload it says undefined variable message yep that's correct we can have here one Okay. and now let's try with this it says please check your login details which of course is correct because we don't have an account with those details and also if we check our date base now you can see that we have a lot of this because we didn't implement it earlier so i will now delete this okay and then let's let, let me try to make a purchase so I can get some password. So let's say I will purchase this one. So I'll say pay with card. This is my email. Okay. I will use test card from the Stripe. Pay 67. Okay, so we are redirected to the thank you page. As you can see here are not shown the login details, which means that email has been sent. So now we need just to wait a few seconds for it to arrive. Okay. Try to refresh and it's here. Okay. Cool. I will say click here to login and I have been redirected to the login page which is correct now let's try to log in sorry so this is my email and then this is the password so maybe okay yeah 
I have been redirected to the dashboard, but of course the dashboard doesn't exist. And now if I try to open login again, I am allowed to do this, but that's not correct. So for that reason, I should make a test at the top here. And if the person is already logged in, we can redirect him back to the dashboard. So I will say if is set session logged in, let's just redirect person to the dashboard.php again. There is no reason that he login again. So let's try that. Yeah, now I'm redirected back to the dashboard PHP. So let's create now the dashboard. And let's check in the database. Yeah, now there is new customer, there is new email, registration date, plan. Everything is looking good. Okay. Now let's create a simple, very, very simple dashboard. Okay. So let's say here this is the dashboard. No. Okay. Let me zoom in. I will grab again bootstrap. Okay. And then again here we can create the same. So I will just grab this. Okay. We don't need this. Okay. Cool. We don't need to justify it to the center. Okay, so let's say we are going to have two columns. One will be three, the second one for the content will be nine. And then in this one for the three, we are going to have some menu and maybe user picture. So let's say at the top, I will set user picture. Okay, and then I will make two breaks and I will have no, maybe we will have a list with list items and then each item will have some link. Let's say I'm not going to write to have any at the moment and I will say here future one. Okay, so maybe we have three different packages. So let's say future one, two, three, like if you have purchased the product one, you will get an access to the future one. If you have purchased the product two, you will get an access to the future one and two. And if you have purchased the product three, you will get an access to all three of them. Okay, that's the idea. So let's see how this looks like at the moment. You can say here that this is some content. Okay, dashboard. Okay. Yeah, now this looks really bad. So I, let's just apply a little bit of CSS, but nothing special. So let's say for this, I will set order. Let's say one pixel so it gray, and then maybe border radius five pixels. Okay. Then we can maybe apply to the image border radius, let's say 50 pixels, I don't know. Let's see what will happen, yeah. And then maybe let's improve this list items. So let's say list item, I don't know, list style, let's say none, let's say background, Okay, let's see the color. Okay, what else we can do? Maybe let's say padding eight pixels. What else? Maybe margin top. Or well, we don't need margin top. Maybe let's say border one pixel solid white. Let's see what we have. Okay, color is not good. 
maybe we can just do it like this what will happen now okay and maybe what we can do is to add like we did on the pricing page on hover we can say that we have some transition oh the tree is easy it out we did same on the pricing page and then we can have some no transform scale just to make it out a little bit nice nothing special here yeah okay some cool effect yeah so this is basic look of our dashboard okay so now let's see which plan this person have and if i remember correctly we have saved it inside the session on the plan okay so let's get it i love to put it in the simple variable even sometimes it's not a good idea but let's say plan equal session plan okay and of course we need session start at the top and of course we need to check if the session exists so we'll say if not set that means that person needs to log in okay cool so we will say here that if plan no everybody will have an access to the future one that's for sure so let's just do it for this one here we'll say if plan bigger or equal to the person will have an access to this one Okay, and then else if plan equal three, the person will have an access to the future tree. Okay, so let's see this. So as you can see now, since this person have an access only to the plan two, he purchased the product two. You can see here, I only able to see the future one and future two, and I'm not able to see the future three. And if we go to the source code, you can see that even if someone try that, he's not able to see it and find the way to access. Of course, there is a way if someone share links to the future tree with him, but of course in that case you will also need to do some additional checks which i'm sure you already know how to do and one thing that is missing here is log out button so maybe i will just add it at the top here so let's say we'll have one column md12 one link log out let's say float to the right and if i remember correctly on the boost up it's about minus 15 pixels yeah there's log out button so i'll try to log out and i'm not able because there isn't log out so let's quickly create that one too Okay, log out. This one is very, very simple, but I'm usually getting comments on how to create one. So let's do it. Okay, so I will just unset the session logged in. That's the one that we are checking for. Then I will use session destroy and I will just redirect person to the Log out, no <laughs> login.php and exit. That's it. So I'll refresh, and there we go. 
So now let's try to change in the database this to the plan. So it's like I purchased the plan tree. And then let's try to log in. Okay. And I need a password. I think it's this one. Login. So I don't have an access to the future tree. Why is that? Let's see. We said here if plan equal tree. Okay. So let's check our plan. That's why you always need to test everything. Plan is tree and it doesn't show up future tree. Interesting. Okay, what's that? Yeah. It's because of this else. I think so. Let's see. Yeah. That was the problem. Okay. That's why you need to always make a test. And also let's take the future one. Let's say I have purchased one. Yeah, I have access only to the future one. Okay guys, so I hope that you have enjoyed this three part mini video series where I have been teaching you how to create Stripe recurring payments and that you are happy with the end result that we have created here. So if you like this video, please like it. And of course, please share it to your friends. Take care.